Hi, my name is Andrea Kerbel, and I work with Operation Mobilization. We are a mission organization that works in over 110 countries with over 3,000 missionaries. One of our pillars is justice. And under justice, we have started what is called the Freedom Challenge. The Freedom Challenge is a movement of passionate women who go out and raise awareness and funds to help fight human trafficking. OM has over 60 projects worldwide that works to prevent trafficking. We do training, we do education, we have schools in some of the most vulnerable areas of the world. Uh, We work in the garbage dumps of Egypt. We also work uh, in Mexico where 200,000 women a year disappear and are never seen again and they are assuming most of them have been trafficked or killed. There are over 30 million people enslaved in the world today, and the average age is between 12 and 14. So that means if it's an average age, that means that half are below and half are above. So there are many, many children under 12 that are enslaved today. So what we do is um, mostly women. There are some events that we have that include men. Many times we either hike or climb mountains, and you think, what does this have to do with human trafficking? Well, before we hike, we go to our communities and we raise awareness, we raise funds for the projects we're doing and also letting people know what is happening in the world today. So there are millions and millions of people enslaved today, and our goal is to let people be aware of what is happening and to raise up the cry to fight this injustice. Mercy worked selling children in Nigeria, but she needed more money for her children. Mercy's boss suggested that she adopt a job in Ghana, where she would make much more money and be able to support her children. So off she went. Her first night, she found herself awakened at 4 a.m. by her new boss, a madam. The boss told Mercy that she must sell her body in order to pay off the staggering debt. Her first customer drove her to a remote area where he raped her and then allowed five of his friends to do the same. Her madam responded, that's not my problem that you got raped. Then she threatened Mercy with a a beating if she did not go back to work. Mercy endured such miseries for a month before a police raid initiated by OM captured those who had enslaved her. This led to the freedom of 48 sex slaves, including Mercy, who had been trafficked from Nigeria. The police came to OM and asked us to facilitate and help restore these women. And that is what one of the things that we did. And one of the things our ladies did last year when we went to the Freedom Climb in Fernie, B.C., was raised over $18,000 for these women who had been freed in Ghana.